Hello everybody, bit of an update video today. I managed to get a new job, which is why the videos have kind of slowed down a little bit. Certain days have been missed and I haven't always had the time to um, uh, title and put thumbnails on the videos, which is a bit of a pain. And uh, for the last week I haven't actually managed to do any recording at all. But that's not too bad because I have quite a big backlog of uh, Eternal Darkness. On my end, <coughs> excuse me, on my end I've almost finished the game. Uh, I'm very close to the end actually I, I would imagine but I think I got about seven videos left to upload I do plan on hopefully trying to complete the game today so I got a new job and uh, it turns out um, when I went for the interview they told me it was going to be somewhere around 20 25 hours a week uh, it's only a temporary Christmas job which is a bit of an ass but uh, what can you do there is a tiny chance they will keep some people on but uh, we'll have to wait and see so I was expecting 20 25 hours a week but no 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 I've been getting about 50 for my first week and um, well, a little bit less than 50 but uh, about 50 hours uh, is what I've been handed and I've got my schedule for the next three weeks um, and yeah <laughs> it's 50 hours 47 hours something like that a week my days off are also staggered uh, and my shifts are staggered as well which doesn't make things very easy for instance one day I'll do one in the morning one in the morning one in the afternoon till 10 at night which isn't too bad but then I'll have to be back in at 7 o'clock in the next morning so it doesn't leave a lot of time to do recording and uploading so um, I'm gonna do what I can I'm gonna try and almost guarantee five videos a week which is what I've always tried to do I've always tried to do uh, five videos a week if I slip um, under five videos a week I can only apologize but what I have said if I do get kept on with this job because YouTube is now such a big part of like what I do um, and nothing treads on YouTube toes I will say that I want to cut my hours back I wanna you know for me for my living arrangements and everything for the house that I live in with all the people that live here I'm quite happy with 30 hours a week so if I can dial back to that and uh, then have uh, plenty of time in the evenings or mornings for my YouTube then I'd be quite happy about that also I've had computer problems some of you may know that I upgraded my computer uh, I had an AMD Phenom X495 Black Edition is it 95? no 65 Black Edition which has been going strong for the last five years and it was a phenomenal chip um, game wise it was pretty much still good but when it came to video rendering it just couldn't hack it it took uh, two and a half hours sometimes to render if I had a 40 minute video sometimes my videos do go over to 40 minutes it would take about two and a half hours to render them um, so I got a new i5 and that's literally cut my rendering times in half maybe a tiny bit better when I rebuilt my computer though it kind I kind of had a few problems with this build I've been building computers now for about 15 years something like that I built my hang on no I'm not that old Jesus about 12 years I built my first computer when I was about 16 I think I built it out of parts that uh, I had handed to me um, that was quite a painful process actually because back then of course I couldn't just fire up the internet I kind of had to figure a lot of things out for myself with an old PC mag but um, I've been building computers uh, since then for various people I've never really had too much trouble with it uh, this build was a pain in the ass first thing that happened was when I uh, reassembled everything my uh, sound card. I have a uh, Recon 3D sound card. I uh, can't remember the exact model, uh, which was is a really good card actually. Um, but it wouldn't actually fit on my new motherboard because my graphics card is a triple slot card. It wouldn't wouldn't fit. So I brought a Asus Zonar sound card uh, that is PCI, not PCIe, because I have uh, loads of PCI uh, slots. But unfortunately, uh, Asus sound cards, I might annoy a few people here, but to be honest, from my experience, this is the only Asus card I've ever brought, 
it is an absolute and utter turd. It doesn't support DTS Connect and it doesn't support uh, Dolby Digital Live encoding, which is really important for me because I have my PC connected to a 5.1 amp. Uh, the fact that it couldn't do surround sound through the optical was a complete deal breaker and the software and the drivers were junk and really messed up with my computer. So what I did is I, um, I changed my motherboard over, I sent that one back and I got a new one and I've managed to get my old sound card in there uh, and it's working fine, absolutely great, which if you remember a few of my videos kind of um, the sound levels were a bit weird and I did say about that it's because I'm fiddling with the onboard sound and things. Originally I was going to stick with the onboard sound but it was so bad, there was so much like hissing and background noise in it, uh, I, I couldn't put up with that. Sound is very important to me, I, I mean that's one reason I'm a PC gamer is because I like, um, well I say PC gamer, I play everything but I'm PC gamer first because I like the, I like high quality sound and I like fast frame rates. Graphics are a luxury, uh, I, I prefer to turn the graphics down just to get a higher frame rate but that's just me, sound and, uh, sound and frame rate is, is what I go for. So anyway, I managed to get all that sorted and um, then one of my sticks of RAM died which was really infuriating. So uh, I had a 16 gigabyte kit of Corsair Vengeance Platinum RAM and um, it was two 8 gig sticks and one of them died so I got in contact with Corsair and Corsair said they will replace them because Corsair RAM um, has a lifetime warranty which is really freaking cool. Uh, I'm not sure if other, other companies do that, I only really buy Corsair stuff so I'm not sure, but but that was really good. The only problem is they wanted um, both sticks of memory. I had to send the the kit back, so I had to salvage um, two two gigabyte sticks uh, out of my box of PC parts, which leaves me with four gigs total memory. Which means my computer is really slow at the moment when it comes to video editing and things like that, which kind of limits things a little bit. But uh, hopefully that RAM will be back soon. Uh, so as I say, within the next couple of weeks hopefully, well maybe even a week and a half, I think Eternal Darkness is going to come to an end. Hopefully going to record some um, Hogs of War today, because we really need to catch up on that, because I haven't done any of that for ages and I'm kind of missing it to be honest. And that is uh, pushing us quite quickly towards Christmas. Uh, by the time, yeah, two more weeks forward and then maybe another week. So three weeks total, I reckon, Hogs of War and Eternal Darkness will be finished maybe quicker than that. We'll have to see. Um, that does mean that uh, I need to start work on my Christmas Let's Play, which I've been planning for, well, I've been wanting to do this for like two years now. It's a Dreamcast game. A Dreamcast game that... It's like Marmite, some people don't like it, some people hate it actually, uh, and some people love it. It's got a little bit of a cult following to it. It was one of the first Dreamcast games I had, and I thought it was really, really good. And I played through it about six months ago, and it's so much fun. So I'm going to do that, and it's kind of got a little bit of a Christmas theme. People that are familiar with the Dreamcast uh, library probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, anything else? Also, depending on what happens, I'm hoping to have a Christmas giveaway, uh, as I did last year. So we're going to see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that yet, because it depends what happens with work and all that lot. But I always like to give something back, um, because you guys are phenomenal. And I'm up to 230 subscribers now, as of this recording, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it thing is it keeps surprising me because I keep thinking that oh, I'm, maybe I'll get to 250 and then it'll level out and then I won't get any more but you know people keep subscribing and keep getting more and more subscribers so that's that's good <laughs> I'm quite happy with that but uh, yes unfortunately uh, to summarize work is kind of holding me back a bit and my computer is having technical difficulties at the moment but once these hurdles hopefully are sorted out in the next couple of weeks things will resume so expect hopefully five videos a week uh, possibly might fall under that a little bit um, but I will aim to do a video every day but that's not always possible so thanks for watching guys thanks for listening and until next time <laughs>